You may have seen Autocar's full road test and technical overview of the world's fastest tractor, the 153 mile an hour JCB Fast Track. And if you haven't, I recommend you do elsewhere on this channel. Well, here's how it's built at JCB's Staffordshire headquarters. This is a JCB 672 base engine, which means it's six cylinders and 7.2 litres, to which a six-speed truck gearbox, manual H-pattern box, is attached. The two are paired together and then dropped into a modified JCB Fast Track tractor chassis, which has been both lowered by around 200 millimetres and lightened. Here it's rear wheel drive and not four wheel drive as it would be in the normal tractor. You can see how important cooling is as everything is put together. There is a vast intercooler in front of the engine and beneath that a huge ice bucket which gets through 25 kilograms of ice through each record run. And then there are a huge array of coolant pipes routed all around the engine. Now in the background here you can see the cab being assembled which is not only plastic rather than glass, it's 200 millimetres lower and 200 metres narrower than a standard JCB cab. The cab already has an FIA roll cage welded together inside it before it is dropped onto the top of the chassis and then the two are bolted together. Air tanks are then placed on the back which run the braking system and the bodywork is attached. The bonnet is a standard shape and size but a lighter material and other bodywork lowers the drag coefficient which is still not great by car standards but is terrific for a tractor. JCB's engineers plug in their computers to make sure the Myriad electronic systems are working properly. Then the wheels are attached and the tractor is taken to RAF Elvington in Yorkshire where it sets a 131 mile an hour tractor world speed record. Don't forget, we're here all the time with news, reviews, group tests, drag races and more. So join us here or at autocar.co.uk.